Hi friends, my name is Miss D and I'm back with some awesome books for kindergartners. And my theme actually, I have a theme this week, is friendship. So the first book I have is called Kitty and Dragon by Meika Hashimoto. And this book is actually three stories in one book. So the, story, the book begins with Kitty and Kitty lives in the barn and Kitty doesn't like noise and all she wants to do is find a quiet home to live in. So she decides to leave the barn and starts walking around town looking for the perfect quiet place for her to live. And while she's walking, she stumbles across many different creatures and they all tell her to beware of the dragon and she doesn't really pay any attention to any of them. So she keeps walking and walking and every time she bumps into someone, they tell her, beware of the dragon. It has fiery breath and he's not so nice, but pretty, Kitty's pretty brave. So Kitty keeps walking and she finally stumbles across a cave and she thinks this cave should make a pretty good home for her. And when she walks in the cave, she discovers what else? A dragon, the dragon that everyone was talking about. And she finds out that the dragon actually isn't so scary at all. Actually, Kitty and Dragon become best friends. And that's where their friendship begins. And if you want to read on and find out more adventures between Kitty and Dragon, you should read Kitty and Dragon. So the next book about friendship I have is about the differences that you sometimes see in friendships. And this book is called Eunice and Kate by Mariana Lanos. Now, Eunice and Kate actually have a lot of similarities. They live right next door to each other. They play in the same swimming pool during the summer. They share the same uh, playground in the winter. And their mothers actually wash the, their clothes in the same basement laundry mat. So one day, Eunice and Kate are in the classroom and their teacher has an assignment for them. The teacher wants them to draw portraits of each other. Now, I should probably give you a little bit of background. Eunice, um, her dream is to be a ballerina. She loves to dance. Kate, on the other hand, Kate always has her head in the stars. She wants to be an astronaut and hopefully uh, go to the moon. Well, Eunice and Kate, when they start drawing each other, Eunice draws Kate as an astronaut and Kate draws Eunice as a ballerina, but they start viewing each other differently and they wonder if they can be best friends if they both want to do different things in life. Well, will their friendship survive? And can it weather a storm? If you want to read more about this friendship, you should read Eunice and Kate. So my next book for you is about when a friend moves away. This book is called Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away by Meg Medina. Now, Daniela's best friend, Evelyn, is moving away. They live next door to each other for a while now, and they've so long that they've become best friends, and they always play with each other. Well, Evelyn's moving away. So Daniela and Evelyn spend their last afternoon together doing some of the same things they always do. Evelyn goes over Daniela's house. They play, they hide, play hide and seek. Um, they run across um, neighbors in the same building. One of the neighbors gives them cookies and they're just trying to have the, spend the best day together. And as things get start getting a little bit sad when they realize that Evelyn is really moving away and she's not coming back and Danielle is not going to be able to wake up and go outside and see her best friend anymore. So they decide that they have to make best with what they have in the moment. Now it's hard when a friend moves away and you don't know will they you see them again or when can you visit them or, you know, will you still know each other a few years from now? 
if you want to read more about their story and what their friendship um, has in the future, you should read Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. For my last story, I have a book about a cactus, and he's actually quite a grumpy cactus. This book is called Nobody Hugs a Cactus by Carter Goodrich. In this story, this cactus, his name is Hank, and he's actually a pretty grumpy cactus, and he doesn't like people getting near him. So whenever someone walks across um, past his path, he always tells them to get away and get out of here, scram. And they really don't pay him any mind. Rosie, the tumbleweed, is actually the first um, thing to cross paths with Hank. And she's really, really friendly and nice. But Hank doesn't care. He just wants to be alone. Well, a cowboy walks path, uh, across uh, Hank's path. And the cowboy doesn't understand why Hank is so grumpy. And he tells him, nobody hugs a cactus anyway. And Hank doesn't think too much of it until later. And he realizes how lonely he is and how he actually is in need of a hug and maybe friendship too. Well, one day, Hank gets a cup stuck to him. The wind is blowing really, really hard and a cup is flying in the air and hits him and sticks to him. And Hank's arms are too short, so he doesn't know how to get the cup off. Well, the wind blows, and who blows in his path? Rosie the tumbleweed. And Rosie manages to remove the cup from Hank. And Hank is so thankful to have Rosie. And he thinks he should, um, he should probably thank her. He really wants to thank her for helping him. And he doesn't have any idea what to do, but he decides he can do something that no one else can. He can grow a flower and give that flower to Rosie. Well, if you want to find out more about Hank and him giving a flyer to Rosie, you should read Nobody Hugs a Cactus. Well, those are all the stories I have for you today. I hope you enjoy. See you again soon. Bye.